Phi 1.5 is a small scale language model designed by Microsoft that somehow outperforms larger scale models. With only 1.3 billion parameters, it surprisingly scored better than other language models, which have over 7 billion to 10 billion tokens on multiple benchmark tests. Shocking, right? So how did Microsoft manage to build such an efficient model? Well, they invented a new machine learning technique that allows artificial intelligence models to learn more using less. All you need is a textbook. And it's as simple as it sounds. The AI model learns like a student would from a textbook. As you may recall, textbooks start with simpler concepts before introducing the learner to more challenging information and eventually wrap it up with review exercises and solutions at the end of each chapter. Microsoft adopted the same learning style while preparing FI's training data. Opposed to Microsoft's all you need is a textbook approach, Google developed the attention is all you need training method in 2017, which led to the invention of AI models called transformers. This training style requires large data sets and consumes a lot of computational resources. However, it performs well in language processing tasks like translation and text summarization. It even develops a sentimental understanding. But, users often complained about these large language models giving wrong answers. The model also fumbled when confronted with complex tasks and failed to show common sense in some situations. And that's where Microsoft Phi 1.5 comes in. Microsoft designed Phi 1.5 to be an efficient model that doesn't need outrageous amounts of data from the internet to achieve natural language understanding. The developers at Microsoft decided to be more mindful and intentional about what data they feed the model, since its accuracy depends largely on its training data. The famous computer science quote says it all, garbage in, garbage out. Instead of just gathering large-scale data from the internet that is random at best, the developers decided to go for quality and not quantity. While preceding models focus on cleaning up the output of the model, Phi 1.5 works on the input side. Therefore, even with a smaller number of parameters, Phi 1.5 still outperforms larger models because of the quality of their input data. Phi's training data was synthetically generated. That means the developers personally prepared all the training data. Quite like the review questions in academic textbooks, Microsoft meticulously prepared questions and answers for the model. Although that must have taken a lot of effort, the outcome makes it worthwhile. And now, let's get to everybody's favorite section of the review, the part where we see what Phi 1.5 is capable of. Phi's strongest ability is its multi-step thinking, which means it can explain answers in steps. In the white paper, the developers showed how they gave the model a sample prompt requiring a stepwise thought process. Phi prints each chain of thought and provides the final answer. Notice that let's think step by step was added to the bottom of the text prompt. Usually the model performs multi-step thinking behind the scenes and hides it from the user. You have to explicitly ask if you want the model to show its workings. We see more demonstrations of Phi's multi-step thinking with programming related problems. They ask the model to explain a code in steps. It gives a smooth explanation of the code from the first line to the last, but misses one intricate detail. It mistakes the first argument of the function in the second line of the code as zero. This error is understandable since empty strings translate to zero in machine language. One can see how Phi 1.5 can help developers familiarize themselves with codes in programming languages they aren't fluent in. Let's see how Microsoft Phi 1.5 crushes some bigger models when it wouldn't naturally be expected to be in the same league. If you still don't believe that Microsoft Phi 1.5 is actually better than larger models, these benchmark test results should clear your doubt. If you're shown several artificial intelligence models with varying training data sizes and you're asked to guess which one would be more proficient at coding or language processing, I'm sure you will bet on the model with the largest training data. If you followed that thought process for this benchmark test, you would have been wrong two out of three times. It was truly a game-changing moment when they put Phi 1.5 beside large language models like Llama 2, 7B, Vicuña 13B, and Opt 1.3B, and the results put Microsoft's new model ahead. They benchmark tested Phi's multi-step reasoning prowess using GSM 8K, Human Aval, 
and MBPP standards. And as you'll see in the table, FI 1.5 beats other competing models in Human Aval and MBPP benchmarks and comes out as a close second to the GSM 8K benchmark. Although FI 1.5 was more exceptional in the step-by-step -step reasoning benchmark tests, it also had great scores when evaluated in terms of common sense reasoning, language understanding and knowledge evaluations. More important to scholars is the AGI Aval benchmark, which evaluates a language model's performance in professional exams like the SAT, LSAT and math competitions. For the SAT and LSAT tests, FI 1.5 performed better than the average examinee. It scored 92% on the English test of the Chinese college entrance exam and 95% on the SAT math test. Let's see some practical examples of FI's capabilities that warrant its impressive benchmark ratings. On the screen is a text prompt with an incomplete sentence that reads, Sebastian is in London today, it's the middle of July, yet it's raining. So Sebastian is feeling gloomy. He. The model is prompted to complete the sentence. However, the story ends abruptly and leaves the AI with an unlikely premise of rain occurring in July. It is odd to experience wet weather in this month since it is associated with sunny seasons. When met with these kinds of confusing contexts, earlier Microsoft models would ignore the rain and may complete the story with contradicting texts. Phi 1.5 displays incredible common sense here by factoring in the weather irrespective of the unexpected circumstance. It immediately follows up the first sentence with another one that talks about the weather affecting the subject of the story's motivation to carry on with the travel plan. Even though July and rain are two concepts the model didn't expect to interact with each other, it still adapted quickly and gave a consistent story. It was noted in the white paper that the new Microsoft Mini model tends to bombard the user with surplus information. Sometimes FI 1.5 might give you unnecessarily long answers. A simple question like, who's the Prime Minister of England, may result in a mini biography of Rishi Sunak. Microsoft FI 1.5 is a compact model that demands less and performs more. It depreciates the use of large, redundant datasets and improves efficiency by saving computational resources. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the AI Wave to get more exciting news about advances in artificial intelligence.